Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Children. I'm in Hammersmith today for the Organ Modelling and 3D Cell Culture event at Oxford Global. And I'm delighted to join by Emma Robertson from Molecular Devices. Who's going to tell us a bit more about Molecular Devices and what they're showcasing this week at the event. So Emma, first of all, good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, we're sort of into the late morning of day one. How's it gone so far? It's been great. We've had a lot of interest in the coffee break. Lots of people to talk to about our exciting instrumentation. Fantastic. We're going to find out a bit more about that. But before we do that... Um, for people not familiar with molecular devices, who are you and what do you actually do? So we're an Im instrumentation manufacturer and we sell and manufacture plate readers and imaging systems as well as cell line development instrumentation and more recently our 3D biology portfolio which are um, instruments and services to help culture and automate the culture of um, 3D biology. Fantastic. Well, I can guess what your answer is going to be now to my next question. Because I was going to say to you, what are you actually showcasing this week? So we are showcasing, yes, our new 3D biology instrumentation. So here, to summarise it, we've got the Cell Express AI, which mm. is an automated cell culture platform yep. um, with integrated liquid handling, incubator and um, imager for being able to seed, feed, passage and grow and monitor your 3D biology um, uh, material. Yep. We have a the bioassembly bot, which is a 3D bioprinter to be able to create um, complex um, 3D biology with scaffolds and different cell types. Um, and then the last part is the um, organoid expansion service, where we can actually take the customer's organoid lines and expand them and do that work for them and deliver them um, the organoids as frozen assay ready vials and the whole point of the portfolio is to really provide customers with the saving time so because the automation um, and the our service frees them up to do more interesting things but also it's the important bit is about the consistency of the biology that's generated at the end um, with the different um, solutions. We also have imaging um, system which can then be integrated yep. um, once the biology has been created with the um, with the Cell Express AI, the bioassembly bot or the expansion service. Brilliant, I can see behind you you've got a little poster there which is talking about some of the workflows, so are you able to talk me through that? Absolutely. So as I said, the Cell Express AI is around being able to the seed, feed, monitor and passage the 3D biology. And this is just this workflow is an example of a uh, IPSC workflow where you might have 2D pre-culture. <coughs> Excuse me, um, with um, which you can differentiate, develop into the organoids. Then the system will then all culture it and monitor the growth and development, and that is all done on the Cell Express AI. And then once at this stage you have the bio biology, you can then hand it off into an integrated um, Image Express Confocal high content imaging system to actually do the endpoint assays. Brilliant. So that's fantastic, Emma. Thanks for going through that. Now, one question I'm going to ask you, though, is what makes Molecular Devices unique and different so people should work with you rather than some of the other companies? So we are one of the only companies that has an integrated system like the Cell Express AI where um, it's all integrated with a single software and it's um, the decisions within the workflow are based on actually data and so data driven and also the only company um, that is able to do the scale up of patient derived organoids. That's fantastic. Well, look, it's lovely to meet you. Now, obviously, if you're here this week, then come and talk to Emma and the rest of the team and learn more about their new uh, instruments and services. If you cannot make it, though, then go and visit their LinkedIn page and also their website. The links are above the video. So, Emma, once again, it's lovely to meet you. Enjoy the rest of the conference. And viewers, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye.